How many how many interval do you do you, do you see there? One, two, three, right? I see three. I see three. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so now at the two end is always parentheses, right? There's no argue there. It has to be. You say one million, I say one million one. So there's no stopping, right? There's no exact values. Um, at the negative six, should I put bracket or parentheses? Bracket. Mm -hmm. Bracket. It's equal to, and, and, and if you doubt yourself, go ahead and plug negative six in there. Let's go ahead and make sure you can see this. Maybe I'll use a yellow. I can't see that. Don't write this down. You don't have to write this down. Um, plug it in there. So x uh, x is negative six. So negative six plus six over negative six minus five. So I have the top. I have zero. The bottom. I have negative eleven. So zero. So it's okay, right? It's e. It's say equal to zero. So it's all right. Uh, what about ne What about five? Can I? Should I put parentheses or Bracket. Well, if you doubt yourself, plug it in there. <laughs> See what happened. Plug it in there. Look, plug five for x. What happened? Five plus six over five minus five, which is eleven divided by zero. Can I have zero in the bottom? No, right? Remember, the domain is what x cannot be equal to five. Right, we, uh, so so no, because because of that, even though it's a greater or equal to zero, I still have to set, I still have to put parentheses at the five. Right, the top allows to be zero, but not the bottom. So be careful, even though it's a greater or equal to zero, but you have to take care of the zero. Really. All right, now test point. Now, uh, uh, step four is test. Pick the test value. So for example, between negative infinity and negative six, I'm gonna pick uh I'm gonna pick negative ten. Between negative six and five, my favorite number is zero. Between negative and positive, just pick zero. Uh between five and, and infinity, I pick ten again. By the way, it doesn't matter which point you pick, okay? As long as as you pick the correct value, say Kobe, pick me between between negative infinity to negative six, pick me another number. Negative seven. Good. That's good. Um, as long as you pick the right value, the inside of print of interval. So a negative ten. Now negative ten. Plug it in. Plug it in. So I have what? Uh, don't write this step down. Maybe you write on the scrap paper. So negative ten plus six over negative ten minus five. Negative ten plus six is negative four. Negative ten negative five is negative fifteen. So Four over fifteen. Um. By the way, I don't care about the value. All I care is it positive or negative. And in this case, is what? It's positive, right? You can put just put one positive. I just like to put it like that so it looks pretty. Um. And now let's test zero into it. Zero. Zero for x. Zero plus six is six. Zero minus five is negative five. So I've got six over negative five. So it is negative. What about 10? Positive, right? 10 plus 6, 10 minus 5. So they both positive. So it's going to be positive. Again, I don't care about the values. All I care is, is it positive or negative? OK, now, originally, you want your inequality to be greater or equal to 0. So what interval are you going to pick? By eyeballing that, what interval are you going to pick? What interval do you going, are you going to pick? You want to be at least, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the positive interval, right? Whatever have the plus. So it's gonna be the interval you're going to pick will be negative infinity to negative six. By the way, you pick the interval, but you don't pick that, that test value. Um, it's, for, it's for testing only. Union from five, oh my bad, six will be bracket. Five to infinity. And that'll be your solution. I'll give you more example. Don't worry. You get you better jig a bit. 
by looking at the solution. Um, can anyone tell me how much you do that? Not two. The two intervals, not two, two solutions. How many number between negative infinity to negative six? Infinitely many, right? Infinitely many, infinitely many. So your solution is infinitely many, as long as between these two, two gaps. Um, by the way, say, can we pick negative seven here? Is that what you think? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, you plug in negative seven here, you still, it, it still come out positive. So negative seven plus six is negative one, negative seven, negative five, negative, so negative and negative is still positive. Okay. Any number, as long as you pick the right one. Do you have any questions on uh, this one so far? That will be your uh, your step. Just, just every single problem is just like that. All right, number two. Number two, am I satisfied? Step one. Step one means move everything to the left. No, right? So I had to subtract one. Subtract one, subtract one. Uh, of course, this gone. This gone. So uh, what do I have? I have four x minus one over x minus four minus one less than or equal to zero. By the way, the, the the negative one does not go into the fraction, so leave it alone. Question: Am I satisfied? Step two. I mean, find the LCD and bring the left hand side under one common denominator. This is one over this is one over one, right? If you want to be careful. Okay, it, it, it definitely I don't have I don't have a one common denominator, right? Because one of them is x minus four, one of them is one, so it has to be the same. It has to be all x minus four. So what should I do? What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna multiply the 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 one that does not have x minus four is x minus four over x minus four. Basically, I multiply by what? What's x minus four divided by x minus four equal? One, right? So I did not change anything. Um, so the, the, the difference between inequality and the equation you see here is, remember the equation, you multiply everybody by the LCD, right? Here, you only multiply with the one that you don't have. I'll tell the reason later. Uh, but keep in mind for inequality, do not, do not multiply variable to both sides. I'll tell you later why. Hey, Kevin, glad you can make it. Hi. <laughs> Good on you. All right. Um, okay, so, um, so now they all seem say I have the same denominator, all I have to do is just subtract across, right? So I have 4x minus 1, I don't need parentheses, minus x minus 4. Make sure you have parentheses around x minus 4. The negative is for everyone inside the parentheses um, over x minus 4, less than or equal to 0. Move it up a little bit because so I need room. 4x minus 1 minus, by the way, this is this, this is a negative 1 in front, so you distribute, right? So you have negative x plus 4 over x minus 4 less than or equal to 0. Now you can buy like term. I have this and this the same. So 4x minus x is 3x. Negative 1 and positive 4 is positive 3. Okay, now everything you have. So now you can, there's one more step, but you don't have, maybe you should do. Uh, can I factor three to, to, on the top? Yeah. So there, step one and step two done, right? Move everything to the left and then um, everybody have a common denominator. 
the, the step three is we're gonna set, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, find the critical values. So critical value here is um, three is, well, each of the factor will be equal to zero, right? So the three, I have factor three, factor X plus one and factor X minus four. Well, X plus one equals zero, X minus four equals zero. However, three does not equal to zero. So just leave it alone, right? Just don't, don't mention it at all. Three is always be three. So your critical value, maybe I'll put it right here. Critical values. Um, now X equal, if you subtract one, X equal negative one and then X equal four. And then you put in number line. If you have your critical value, your interval will be one more, one more than your critical value. If you have two critical values, your interval will be three. If you have one critical value, your interval will be two. So always one more. Okay. Oops. So negative infinity, positive infinity, I have negative. Um, I'm going to use red for, for, for these guys underneath. Yeah, I'm going to use red. Uh, negative infinity, positive infinity. And then I have negative one and I have four. At the two, at the two ends, always parentheses. Can I have bracket at negative one? By the way, what, what, can, what can't you have? What, can, what, what can't you have? By looking at this I'm one, yeah. By looking at that, um, I'll use right, you can't have so x cannot be equal to four, right? I know that you put on there is 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 part of your critical value. Four is particle value, even though it's not welcome. Um, so four it has to be parentheses, but negative one is okay to have bracket. <clears throat> um, Mike, pick me a test value between negative and negative one. Negative five. Okay. Taylor, give me a, a next test point. Negative no, it doesn't matter. It's going to be between negative one and four. It can't be negative one. Yeah. No, negative two is not between negative oh, one. Two. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> or if you confuse yourself between positive and negative, pick zero. That's the easiest. But you, I'm going to pick two because you pick two. Um, Curtis, pick me a value between four and infinity. Perfect. Thank you. And now you 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 test it in, right? You, you test it in right. Now, um, whichever, I would recommend you test it right here. The one that you bring under one common denominator. You can test it. You can test it in the original. Nothing wrong with it, but uh, I prefer this one <clears throat> because all I care because 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 of this one. All I care is a positive or negative, right? But the original there's not zero on the right, so it has everything has to be less than one. I mean, I had to care for the value. Okay, so uh, negative five. Plug it in for x. Three times negative five plus one over negative five minus four. Um, negative five plus one is negative four times three is negative. On the bottom, also negative, so it's positive. So it's positive, so positive, so positive. This is the positive land. What two, what about two? Two plus one is three, three times three is nine, so positive. Again, I only care about positive and negative. Mm, two minus four is negative. So positive divided by negative is negative. Well, five, positive, right? Five plus one times three, that's positive. Five minus four, positive, so positive. <clears throat> Which one do I want? Which one do I want? Looking at this, which one do I want? 
Yeah, you are negative, right? So, so tell me the interval. Someone tell me the interval. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. Remember, when you pick something, you want to pick the critical value interval. Don't, don't pick the, the blue one. The blue one is just your test points. It's only important for the test point, and that's it, it's, it's done. So that's your solution. Again, how many so solutions do I have? How many solutions do I have? <laughs> between between negative one and four, how many are there? Infinitely many, right? Or are we not, are we, not we count everything. 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 It's all real numbers. We count everything we count, like point oh, 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 one, point oh, two, yeah, everything, everything. everything. Not just integers, but yeah, I was thinking integers. Yeah. yeah. If we count everything, infinitely many solutions, which we do, because they are real numbers. Um, let me show you how to do this in calculator, like for the the part that you do test point because I understand that a lot of you make silly mistake when you're testing in uh, which is just not worth it because not what I'm testing you for um, so let me show you how to use this in calculator graphing calculator do you guys have a calculator like graphing calculator if you don't you can download an app called I think called calculate right here calculate 84 thing calculate but uh, um, you can always borrow one from the technology center i send you a link in the mood in the mood already <clears throat> okay for now for the purpose of recording i'm going to start talking so first you put in y equal let me clear that y equal and then plug in your the one that you plug in um plug in this one the one that we move everything to the left so three times x plus one over x minus four. Well, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Better, better yet, better yet. You can check your solution. You can plug in. Um, no, yeah, just go ahead, plug in that one. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, in order to do fraction, there are two ways. I'll show you first way. So first way is. So let me clear three times x plus one. Do you guys know where to find x? You know where to find x? It's right here. Next to that little green alpha, x t theta n. Okay, so three uh, times quantity of x plus one, is that right? Divide. Divide the slash thing with the slash. Divide by parenthesis. Make sure you put parenthesis. X minus four. X minus four. So that's one way. The other way. The other way is if you have fancy one of those fancy things, you can use the alpha key. And let me show you. Here you see alpha. You see frac right here. You see the word frac. Right there, the little green one, frac. So that when you click alpha and you click the cl the link, that button right next to each other. So alpha, see that? It'll give you a fraction. So three times x plus one. And then go down here, use the arrow to go down, x minus four. So whichever flow your boat. Um, now for the first one, you have to be careful if no if say for example code is forget to put the parenthesis in the bottom, then it means three times x plus one over x, and then it's done, and then it's minus four, right? Um in, to, when you put the parenthesis, it means x minus four, everything in the bottom. For the second one is you less minus two to stick. You have to care about you have to care about the parenthesis. Okay, so um all right, so now I want to test value. So go to second graph, second table, second right here, second, and then graph. And because the little table thing right there, it's going to lead you to table. So second graph, table. Um, before that, I'm, I'm going to go to table set. Okay, you see table set right here. 
So second window to, to go to, uh, to go to, no, do I, what does you need window? Table set, okay. In order to go to table set, you do second window. Um, independent is gonna be as independent as your X. Remember you want test value, so leave it for, for as. For dependent, you want it auto and leave and leave that setting for the rest of your life, right? Just leave it there. Enter, you're done. Now second table again, go back. CX now, what do I, I want? What do I want? Uh, I forgot what I picked. We pick negative five, two, and five. Negative five, two, and five. So negative five. By the way, you don't care about, they have to be the same value, right? Because I put it the same expression except for this different way of writing it. So negative five, what do you see? Positive or negative? Positive, right? Positive. I don't care about the value as long as it's positive. What, what else? What else? So enter. Uh, so one, the second one, I think, was it two, Taylor? Two. Negative, right? Negative. And then the last one is Curtis picked five. Positive. You see that? Positive, negative, positive. So you know that you're going to pick the one with the test point for two. So on the exam, you're allowed to do that. I know it's, I talk a lot, but when you do your own, it should be quick. Practice it at home. <clears throat> Um, number three, same thing. Um, this number three is, so number three, before we do, I would suggest you factor it. Can someone factor this for me? It's really easy. Two number multiply negative 12, add to negative four. Uh, six and two, okay, six and two. Six and two, and I want negative six and positive two. Okay, let's agree it equal to zero. Is everything under one common denominator and everything moves to the left, right? So all you have to is set the top and the bottom equals zero. Now the top is the number, so we're gonna, we're gonna ignore it. The bottom is I have x plus two equals zero and x minus six equals zero. That's why we factor, right? We wanna each of the factor equals zero, each of the parentheses equals zero. So x equal negative two and x equals six. So, and these, of course, your critical value. Cool. Your critical value, now you put in your number line. Move it down a little bit. Infinity, positive infinity. Um, okay, so my critical value will be negative two and six. What should I put in negative two and six? Parenthesis or bracket? I'll tell you what, you don't have to even think. You don't have to even think because there's no equal sign, right? So it's always, there's no equal sign, I mean always. If you have to think, if you have to think, then think, right? Can I, can I, am I allowed negative two for this expression? No, because if you put negative two here, you get zero, right? That's you. Same thing, am I allowed six here? No, right? Um, but if you have this k, then you don't even think. Everybody gets the parentheses. But you have to think for the one with the equal sign. Now test point, um, Josh pick me a number between negative infinity and negative two. And negative two. All right, negative 10. Somebody else, negative two to six. Pick something easy, don't make it hard. Four, right? Or well, I was thinking zero. <laughs> every time I see, every time I'm going between negative to positive, zero is my best friend because it's very easy. When, when it, you plug it in, um, but I'll, I'll pick four. So I can prove that every value will be, it, it worked out. Um, six and infinity will be, say 10, right? Say 10. <clears throat> I'm gonna use calculator. So I'm gonna plug in 
um, either this one or this one doesn't matter because they both, everything on the right hand side is zero. So one over X so square minus four X minus 12. Go to Y equal. I'm gonna clear that. I'm gonna clear this as well. Um, I got, I'm gonna go alpha frac one. What is that? X square, X square minus four X minus 12. And then because table set, table set, if you go to table set is already as an auto, I, I, I told you to save it. So it, it shouldn't be changed. Go to table, second graph to go to table. Oh, why do I clear? I wonder if I can delete this. Let me see. Let me delete, delete, delete. Um, somebody pick negative 10, right? Was it Josh pick negative 10? It's positive, right? Again, I don't care about the value. It, it's positive, plus zero, zero, 007, so positive. What about four? What else? You guys pick four. So enter four, negative. Enter again, 10, positive. So positive, negative, positive. See how fast it is? I would recommend you do that on the exam. Now it looked like to you it's alter, um, alternating, isn't it? Uh, uh, most of the time it will be, but sometimes it won't. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you uh, when it won't be. For example, if I have x plus two times x plus two again, when you have multiplicity of two, so x plus two square, right? Uh, it won't, it won't alternate. So just watch out on those. I will just test them. So I don't make mistakes. What do I want, positive or negative? What do I want? Tell me, tell me my solution. Mm -hmm, which is? Uh -huh. Yeah, six to infinity. Oh, you feel a little bit better now? Because they're very repetitive. Why don't you try number four? I'll give you like a few minutes. You don't have to finish everything. Just try it out. <clears throat> this is 7.6, right? 7.6. In the meantime, I'm gonna take attendance. 